Kristen. Your mom and I are so proud of the young lady that you have become. Those that know Kristen can appreciate her kind, fun, and loving heart. She always looked for a way to enrich the lives of others. She set a high bar that I continually strive to achieve. Your mom and I love you so much, Kristen. As I've gotten to know Dominic more and more, I've grown to admire his kind and giving heart. An example of this is when he made a special trip to our home and gave Kristen's sister, Caitlin, a valentine. And I am very grateful for that because, because um, that was just sort of like a uh, pick-me-up from me stressing about my dogs. What did he bring you? Um, he, he brought me diet coats. So. <laughs> That's big, Dominic. <laughs> I ask one thing of both of you. No matter the challenges that you will both for sure experience, admire, respect, and cherish each other. The return will be tenfold. Whether it be the great stuff that Dominic is gonna create as a pipe fitter, or all the people that Kristen is gonna help, this world is gonna be a much better place with these fine people together as a team. I am so looking forward to all the wonderful experiences that we are gonna have with this new family. To Kristen and Dominic, May your future together be as joyous as all the joy you give to all of us. Kristen, ever since the day we've met, You've held a special place in my heart. We've created so many memories that I'll cherish forever, including my weird impressions that may have sealed the deal. <laughs> We've shared so many laughs and even some cries along the way. You're the strongest, most supportive, kindest, most beautiful, and the greatest person I know. I promise to always be your best friend, your biggest supporter, adventure buddy, and your husband. I'll cherish you and protect you, encourage you, and always love you with all I have for eternity. I'll be the best husband, father, and pug dad each and every day. I humbly give you my heart and hand as I pledge my never-ending love and commitment to you. Dominic, you're so much more than I could have ever envisioned in the man that I will very soon call my husband. You're a man of great character and integrity. Your spirit is a bright light in this world. You lift others up and make anyone you speak to feel loved and valuable. You're honest, so honest that I lose every surprise you've tried to do gets ruined. I vow to embrace the chaos of life together to choose you in our marriage every day through joy and sorrow. I love you endlessly, Dominic John. You're my best friend, my greatest supporter, my dad joke supplier, my favorite dance partner, my greatest confidant, my partner in all that our life will bring. I love you. <laughs> Dominic and Kristen have come to make their marriage vows in the presence of God and of this assembly. The uniting of this man and woman in heart, body, and mind is intended by God for their mutual joy, for the help and comfort they give one another in prosperity and adversity, and that their love may be a blessing to all whom they encounter. Kristen, I give you this ring. I give you this ring. As a symbol of my love. 
is a symbol of my vow. With all that I am. With all that I am. And all that I have. And all that I have. I honor you. I honor you. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. And of the Son. And of the Son. And of the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit. Dominic, I give you this ring. I give you this ring as a symbol of my vow. As a symbol of my vow. With all that I am. With all that I am. And all that I have. And all that I have. I honor you. I honor you. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. And of the Son. And of the Son. And of the Holy Spirit. And of the Holy Spirit. Okay. Dominic and Kristen, by their promises before God and in the presence of this assembly have joined themselves to one another as husband and wife. Those whom God has joined together, let no one separate. Amen. Thanks be to God. years, Faith, Kristen, and I have played a game called What Will Your Future Spouse Look Like? Uh, <laughs> over the years, we kind of described, you know, what they would do, what they would be like, things like that. Faith typically had a church-loving cowboy. I typically had a sarcastic but well-sophisticated man. And uh, Kristen typically had a businessman with a good knowledge on durable medical <laughs> but it's funny because in all the years that we played the game, I never described Kristen's future spouse to be a hands-on, hard-working, pipe-fitting, sarcastic guy like Dominic. And let me tell you, I have never been so happy to be wrong. I simply cannot imagine a better fit for Kristen than Dominic. And let me tell you why. Dominic is considerate, patient, loving, and kind, just like Kristen. For the both of you, I hope that your childlike love remains alive, the one where you won't leave the room without getting a hug and a kiss goodbye first, and then you will proceed to yell I love you along the hallway as we walk away. The kind of love where all you want to do is spend your time with one another, and you just never get sick of the other's company. I hope that you continue to work for one another, work with one another, and work as one through all the trials that life will throw your way. Being deeply loved by someone gives you strength, while loving someone deeply gives you courage. This is my final wish for Kristen and Dominic. <laughs>